So Herodotus, normally thought to have been writing around something like 425 BCE. Um, that date is a bit less secure, actually, than people say, but it'll be something like that. He's writing towards end, the end of the 5th century. Uh, and he is writing a, a very long work. Um, we, it's in nine books in the editions that we, we use these days. And it covers an absolutely vast amount of different types of material. Uh, he describes it in his very first sentence as a uh, historie. Uh, historie, what does that mean? We think of it as history, but uh, in the Greek it means rather more inquiry and its questions, its answers. Uh, and that's very important. It's the questions that he asked as he was going around the world. Uh, it matters that he has gone around the world. He brings in all sorts of different places, which in most cases he's visited. In some cases he perhaps claims to have visited or gives the impression he's visited. Sometimes he doesn't even claim to have visited them. But it's got a tremendous geographical range as well as, as everything else. And he just brings together these inquiries in a, a single word. A single, he brings together these inquiries in a single work. Uh, all covered by the single word historie. Uh, another word that is very important for Herodotus is uh, marvels, thaumata, uh, things that were curious, things that were extraordinary. Um, he talks about the, the great and marvellous things, marvellous works of, of human beings, things that originated from human beings, and all of these come into his history. Uh, some of them are events, and he indeed singles out right at the beginning one event in particular, uh, the reasons why, the causes why uh, they came to war with one another, they being West and East, the Persians and the Greeks. But it's not just events. Uh, things that originate from humans can mean remarkable buildings, the pyramids of Egypt. Uh, it can be remarkable customs, uh, what the Egyptians or the Scythians get up to. Uh, and all of it is just, it's there because it's fascinating. It's there because it's marvellous. Uh, we think of him as the, the first historian. Well, he wasn't the first to write that long narrative of events that uh, might have been thought to be historical in a way. That's already true in, of, of Homer, who is describing the Trojan War. And probably most of the people, when they first heard it, uh, would have thought that this was a historical event. Uh, and he's not the first person, Herodotus, to be writing about the whole of the world. There were people who had written accounts of travels and accounts of local customs before him as well. Uh, but bringing it together so so extremely effectively and particularly with such a strong narrative framework even though there's lots of non-narrative things that are brought within in, into it uh, this is uh, something that was immensely influential and then only a generation later uh, Thucydides writing about a much narrower theme the Peloponnesian War between Sparta and Athens at the end of the fifth century again carries on very much that idea of, of narrative as being the, the really distinctive thing of history. So Herodotus um, has his narrative, it's only one thing there, but it turned out to be extremely influential in what people thought of later as being what historians do.